This is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In this training tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use automatically segmented teeth from your CT scan with their roots in your digital tooth setup and tooth movement for aligner treatment. Simply start by opening Blue Sky Plan, clicking on orthodontics, selecting aligners, and selecting the option to import patient CT scan. Navigate to the location of the CT scan on your computer, select the relevant scan, and click OK. Select the relevant preview, and click OK. On this screen, limit the relevant field of view by using your left mouse button to grab and drag yellow borders, of course, keeping the relevant data within the relevant field of view. Continue by navigating to the location of the relevant model scans on your computer. You can multi-select the relevant scans by holding down the shift key, left clicking to highlight them in gray, and then click the OK button. The software confirms the relevant jaw for the model. Click on the relevant option, and the software will proceed to automatically detect and segment the teeth from the CT scan. The software then proceeds to run the automatic alignment between the CT scan and the model scan. In our 2D and 3D views, we could see that the software has successfully aligned the STL model scan to the CT scan, so we could click OK to confirm alignment and continue. The software will proceed to run the alignment on the second jaw. We can once again see in our 2D and 3D views that the software has successfully aligned the STL model to the CT scan. If there was a problem, we could use our point functionality to identify several unique points in the CT scan and the STL model scan to help the software do the alignment. At this point, I'm going to click OK to continue. If the STL models were not in occlusion, we could use this step to import a buckle byte to do the proper registration. In our situation, since the models are in occlusion, I'm going to click Continue to Draw Alignment. The software will proceed to automatically annotate to place two dots on each tooth going around the jaw. Okay, the annotation that we see on the screen was done completely automatically by the software. We can see that there is an issue over here with teeth uh, 10 and 11. To adjust the annotation, simply click one tooth back. Let's erase the last few teeth. And we will help the software by annotating, holding down our shift key and clicking with our left mouse button in the relevant locations to assist and to modify the annotation. We're going to right click to indicate the missing tooth and click continue with mandible. For the mandible, we could see that the automatic annotation is done successfully. There's no real need here to adjust the positioning of the annotations. So we're going to click continue to teeth segmentation. Okay, we could see here on screen the teeth as automatically segmented by the software. And we can make any adjustments if necessary simply by clicking on a tooth, having the border highlighted in red and grabbing and dragging any of the nodes. In our situation, the segmentation seems to be spot on, so I'm going to click continue with mandible. Here again, we could review the segmentation done by the software and I'm going to click continue to model trimming. The software has automatically drawn for us the model trim curve. We could review, make any modifications if relevant, and then click continue with mandible. We could review the trim curve on the mandible, make any adjustments as necessary, and then click continue to teeth moving. 
What we see on screen now are our models with our automatically segmented CT teeth automatically aligned to the models. We have two options in terms of mandibular positioning. We have the occlusion positioning, which is what we're looking at now, and we have the CT positioning. So if we go ahead and click on CT positioning, we'll see that the jaw opens, the models and the segmented CT teeth open to the position of the mandible in the CT scan. We could return to occlusion positioning by clicking on the occlusion positioning button. We can now proceed to prepare our final tooth setup. And we can notice that whenever we move the positioning of any tooth, both the segmented crown from the STL model, as well as the full tooth with its roots from the segmented CT scan move together. If we want to hide one arch, we could simply uncheck the show opposing arch button to see just an individual arch. And we could also use the slider to control the draw transparency of the STL model. For the purpose of this tutorial video, I'm simply going to hide one arch and click snap all teeth to snap all teeth to the proposed curve. If we want to modify the positioning of the curve, simply click Edit Curve, modify the relevant positioning, and then once again, you could click Snap All Teeth. Let's proceed to the mandible. Snap all teeth into position. We can modify the positioning of any individual tooth simply by grabbing and dragging the widget and adjusting the tooth accordingly. So as we use the slider to move through the tooth movements, we could see that the teeth are moving along with the roots that are aligned to the crowns from the segmented model. For the purpose of this tutorial video, let's proceed. Continue to edit steps. At this point, we could use our start step and our mandatory column to control the exact movements and sequence of movements of the relevant teeth. Once that is done, we could proceed to choose to add buttons, actually design printable aligners in the software, and the option to design the aligner trim curve for automatic trimming via mill. Once we have completed with these options, we could click continue to export. The software will prepare the relevant models to be exported to an STL file format, and they can be saved to our computer.